Hi everyone, my name is Myla Damien with Maximo TV and I'm here at Crest Super Club for Planet Funk Fashion Release Party presented by Ellie Direct Magazine. Dancing with the Stars is fantastic. We're having a great season seven, lots of fun, lots of surprises, tons of injuries already, and hopefully no more of those. <laughs> so who do you think is going to win this season? It's too early to tell. Of course, our, our front runners with the judges are Brooke Burke and uh, Lance Bass, Warren Sapp, but it's still anyone's game very early on in the competition. I have a show for LA Fashion Week, a big runway show for the grand finale of LA Fashion Week. We will be shooting for our TV show, Catwalk, all about fashion and we're so excited. Catwalk's gonna be awesome. Basically, we just go to different fashion weeks and dress different celebrities and just have a ton of fun. And she's so young and making waves in this city and it's just really cool. I love fashion. I mean, I, it, you know, to me, I don't, I don't go see it. I don't, look at the boots, Capulta, they're nice, yes. They're, um, you know, I don't go see a psychiatrist. If I have problems, I go to a, like a clothing She's rack or shoes. Mind. That's She's what Fashion Week mind. is to me. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah, you know, we love fashion, obviously. We love to shop. I, I'm a straight man that loves to shop. That's 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 very rare. Um, we Little love. K. This is one of my favorite brands. Like it's called. Lion. Yeah, it's it's yeah. one of. It, I love this company. It's called Stone Rose, and I love all their shirts. Stone Rose, and we're here for Planet Funk and uh, LA Magazine. And it's a great kickoff oh, launch party for fashion. This. What about this? What is this? Okay, is my boy. Bullet. This is my boy called Bullets for Peace, and wow. uh, it's a cool concept. Makes bullets, cool. puts skulls, fluid releases on there, and half of it goes to charity. So it's a really good cause, and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to wear this it. This so. city slicker here never shot a gun, though. He doesn't even know where around his neck. <laughs> I'm actually working on a new album. It's called Everybody's Watching, and it's going to be with the Perry Twins that are really huge in the dance world. So it's really definitely exciting. Yeah, cheers, because I have a lot of fans that are in jail that write me all the time, and um, they wanted me to wear cheers tonight. I haven't killed anyone. <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah. So, but I mean, I love my fans, you know, and these are for them. I am Natasha Budai. I am the first Jamaican to land a Playboy contract in 25 years. You can check out my show on YouTube. It's called The Life of a Chocolate Bunny. And, you know, it, it's a dirty job eating all that chocolate, but somebody has to do it, yeah? Keep it locked. Huh? I had a three-picture deal with Miramax, and I've been acting since I was four in Jamaica. So I came here, and uh, I was just, uh, I was at Heidi Klum uh, Naked Party. Oh my goodness. Yes, and somebody from Playboy invited me up there, and then voila, you know, next and thing. I know I'm here. Right here. Yes, no. I am. And I have my own show. Carpet. You gotta love it. You gotta love, love it. it. I love it. I'm pretty sure in Jamaica they're all proud of you. Do they know about this? Absolutely. I have, there's uh, three million people in my country, and I got three million people that is every day getting up rooting for me and going <laughs> online and awesome? emailing and texting and calling and my mama and everybody, you know. Oh, mama, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> And my five brothers and my dad and my three sisters and I come from a big family and they all support me and thank Love you for you that. All, right? Thank you for that. My friend works at Belmont on La Cienega. Yeah. So I, I like to get the fish and chips for uh <laughs> there's six bucks at happy hour, so but you're so fit. So how does that work, right? Um you just I'm, keep working out. I'm lucky. I well, right now I'm lucky. I might have to. I do the. I do hiking for the for the booty, for the booty. Got to keep the booty tone. But um. Right. But yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of lucky. I'm just really small bones. So. Right. I work with an organization called the Vine Project. We are raising awareness for that sex trafficking, is going on. It's in the United States. It you know it is overseas, but people don't want to, don't want to think about it. They want to. It's over there, you know, right. it's proven to be in 39 U.S. states. I got involved because it's actually the number one city in the U.S. is Atlanta, which is where I'm from. Um, basically, the article actually speaks a lot about the organization. I was very excited about how they portrayed me and, and the organization. And uh, we're, la we're launching it, so we're having a fundraiser in January. We have um, Leah Sophia donating to our gifting bags. We have TV Guide um, coming on board to, to be a part of the project. So we're, we're getting it all together. Yeah. Scratch is a uh, completely green sandwich restaurant. So we're doing a little mix where we're going to have actually an organization that we're securing right now that's Go Green partner with us, the Blind Project, to raise awareness about going green while fighting, while fighting uh, yeah. trafficking at the same time through clothing line, which is the Vine Project is going to begin selling uh, hopefully next year, 2009. So. so let's go green, right? Let's go green. I worked on Eagle Eye. You know, it's a really uh, 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 fast-paced action adventure, um, DreamWorks, Shia LaBeouf. 
um, and I play the role of a fighter pilot. I didn't know anything about being a fighter pilot, but my dad was a fighter pilot. So, you know, I asked him, you know, Dad, what does all this dialogue mean and everything? And he told me, and so then I understood what I was talking about. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it was, it was a really intense experience because I was in this cockpit, like a real, like, fighter cockpit. And um, I was doing like a thousand things with all the controls and everything while I'm doing all my dialogue. Right, right. Yeah, and then um, I actually, I also do stunts. And so I got shot out of the, uh, the cockpit. Oh yeah, goodness. like 60 feet. Wasn't that scary? It was. It was. I was like, okay, all right, I'm looking <laughs> up, you know. But, you know, I, I had so much I had to, you know, think about and in terms of like my action. I was just focused on that. So when it actually happened, I was like, I was focused on like, you know, a thousand different things. So How many takes do you have to do that? Um, like five. Oh my God, I'm working into a lot of different things. I had a movie that was just recently released uh, called Ice Cream, the Remix. And um, also, what else? Uh, numbers, uh, show on CBS. Um, the episode that I was, um, that I appeared on is going to air on November 3rd, I believe, so watch CBS. Yes. <laughs> the first time when I came to Hollywood, to LA, I just felt like I was home. So I decided to move. Yeah. And it's been a great, great year. Okay. MySpace.com, Gilusa, spelled as G-E-L-U-S-A. That's my name. My current project is a feature film entitled Two Dudes in a Dream. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, you can also check me out on another upcoming film called American High School. Uh, got some fun projects in the works, you know, uh, but also, you know, I'm always, uh, I'm always doing fun things out in Hollywood, like, you know, coming here tonight to hang out with you, so that's always cool, too. Awesome. Go to twodudesinadream.com. You know what? I don't think anybody here looks better than me. I'm going to be honest. Everyone is pale in comparison right now. No one figured out that a black sweater is dynamic. Especially it's so See, cold right now. I mean, this is like, it took me 37 hours to get this outfit correct. And my hair, this hair, actually Calvin Klein, I flew him in on my private G5 and he did my hair personally tonight. He sculpted it with his hands and he was like, you know, said, you will never model for me.